welcome to our learning channel, where knowledge meets inspiration. Introduction to Alarm Circuits, a beginner's guide, welcome to our beginner's guide to alarm circuits. In this tutorial, we'll explore the fundamental concepts of electrical circuits and how they work in an intruder alarm system. But first, let's understand what an electrical circuit is. Simply put, an electrical circuit is a closed loop through which electric current can flow. Here, we have a basic circuit consisting of a battery, wires, and a light bulb. When the circuit is complete, the battery provides a voltage difference, pushing electric charges through the wires, which in turn powers the light bulb. We can control the flow of current in a circuit using components like switches. When the switch is closed, the circuit is complete, and current flows. When the switch is open, the circuit is broken, and current stops flowing. A switch has two main states, normally open and normally closed. These terms describe the position of the switch contacts when the switch is not actuated or pressed. Let's explore how a passive infrared sensor functions within an intruder alarm system. It operates similarly to a switch but with added functionality. In a grade 2 passive infrared sensor, there are two circuits, the alarm circuit and the tamper circuit. Both of these circuits are normally closed meaning they have a continuous path for current when the system is in its default state. When the passive infrared sensor is activated, the circuits open, breaking the continuity and sending a signal to the control system, which then initiates the appropriate response, such as sounding an alarm or notifying authorities. In grade 3 intruder alarm systems, security is paramount. These systems require advanced features for enhanced protection, and the triple end of line circuit plays a crucial role in this setup. Unlike simpler alarm circuits, the triple EOL circuit incorporates three separate resistors. Each resistor has a specific value, and they work together to monitor the integrity of the circuit. If the circuit is tampered with or compromised, the resistance values change, triggering an alarm. For example, if someone attempts to cut or short circuit the wiring, the resistance values at each end of the line won't match the expected values. This discrepancy is immediately detected by the control panel, prompting it to activate the alarm. By implementing the triple end of line circuit, grade 3 intruder alarm systems provide an additional layer of security, ensuring that any attempts at tampering or sabotage are promptly detected and addressed. In conclusion, the triple end of line circuit is a sophisticated feature of grade 3 intruder alarm wiring, designed to enhance security and reliability in high-risk environments. Understanding its function is essential for effective alarm system design and installation. Thanks for watching. Welcome to our learning channel, where knowledge meets inspiration. Introduction to Alarm Circuits, a beginner's guide. Welcome to our beginner's guide to alarm circuits. In this tutorial, we'll explore the fundamental concepts of electrical circuits and how they work in an intruder alarm system. But first, let's